what we've seen and what we're up against is one of the most lawless, hostile, and aggressive anti-Christian regimes that we have ever seen in our country to this point. The Biden administration is ruthless. They will utilize the crushing and deadly power of the federal government, the national security apparatus, and the deep state to destroy you and your family without remorse. If you're an outspoken conservative Christian in this country, and you're not walking around looking over your shoulder, wondering when the FBI might be coming to roll you up for your group chats or for your memes or for your advocacy for Christian values and causes in the country, you need to be. The Biden administration is jailing journalists. They're letting peaceful protesters rot in solitary confinement. They're prosecuting meme makers and looking to send pro-life grandmas to jail for 11 years under the FACE Act. And look, we all know that Biden is an empty suit. He is the disembodied head of Alcazan from that hideous strength, reanimated and possessed by a legion of demons, Marxists, and radicals. His administration is a modern-day NICE run by people who don't just hate Christians and the preborn and even children with transgender ideology, but they hate humanity itself. I think he poses a civilizational threat to our country and the world. He's letting millions of dangerous and violent illegal aliens stream into the nation on purpose. He's pushing us closer to World War III on the global playing field with every step. And he staffed his administration with trannies and deviants of every kind, each worse than the next. And so I think the greatest threat to our lives and our livelihood is the regime. I actually think there's wisdom in cloaking some of your power levels and maybe some of the things that you're trying to do. And then once you secure power and you have it, you govern in a more extreme position. Now, the reality is the vast majority of Republican candidates that we've seen and really so much of the failure share of the Republican Party is they don't do that. I think Trump is one of the first Republican candidates I've ever seen in, in my lifetime who's done that. You know, we say we thought maybe Trump was more of a moderate, but then Trump governed more conservatively than Bush did, certainly more conservatively than McCain would have, more conservatively than Romney would have, more conservatively than Jeb Bush would have. And so I am confident, again, with the people that I see lining up to, to be with Trump in a second term, that regardless of what the rhetoric looks like during this campaign season, that he would actually govern in a more conservative and more aggressive fashion, you know, in, in the White House. And that's something that I think we need to be comfortable with, maybe we should use, and maybe even some other, you know, conservative Republicans out there who want to run for office and gain power and use it to do radical, scary, conservative things should consider doing it.